Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What an insane day of footies day one with the content, the cards re-released back in packs, the objective Tavernier, Everything about this footies promo so far is a huge dub. So GG's to EA. I want to talk about it all today. There's a hundred items that are in packs, re-released just as we expected. Now I'm a little surprised they didn't do like the best version of each card. Team of the Year Messi is not in. Team of the Year Mbappe is not in. They chose other versions. So I find that a bit interesting. But I want to talk about arguably the biggest market crash this this FIFA has like ever seen. We saw cards today dropping 90 percent in price now some of them have rebounded back but i want to talk about that i mean we kind of called that in a sense too we knew those drops were going to be coming and we knew the preview packs were really going to hurt the market today with these best of cards re-released and a combination of that panic selling and those preview packs destroyed prices so i want to talk about that that's a big part of what we're going to talk about today a lot of people lost coins yesterday so it wasn't fun for a lot of you guys if you had any of those items tradable in your team right it was not fun to see these items re-released unless you sold right unless you sold guys like this freeze money i bought a freeze money today at fifty-seven thousand coins he was 340k right before the content drop right i bought a lucas mora for my club for the past and present spurs team he was 200k before the content drop. I bought mine for 29,000 coins. Huge, huge drops on these cards today. So I know if you lost a lot of coins today, you're not very happy. But for someone like myself that is a full untradable squad at this stage of the game, really don't have anything tradable in the club, today was an absolutely just astonishing day of what can happen on this market when EA releases insane, insane content so i know we're going to look at all the sbcs and like that footies player pick sbc that's unbelievable fodder on the low tier and like we predicted is flying to the moon right we have to talk about that as well and i want to go through it all today and of course look ahead into today on saturday what could be happening content wise now let's go back to the market in a bit but this footies content is top notch ea sports i mean again Credit is due. Um, credit is due to EA Sports here for this incredible content. So just like we always knew, we had these footies player pick fan votes. Now, technically, we didn't have another one yesterday on Friday. They did not drop another footies uh, player pick, uh, at least that I was aware of. I didn't choose any of them. Uh, and then, of course, we have some more information here that the nominees that failed to win, so Manolis will be considered for footy's close call player SBCs. Now, we didn't have a player pick van vote yesterday, but we did have a team event vote. And honestly, I'm going to be full disclosure here. I haven't entered the team event section of objectives like at all this year. And I was really excited to see what EA would do with this. But now it actually means something, right? There were footy's cards available today as team event voting. I think it was like Rafael Leao. Actually, I can go show you right now. There were two items. You might not have even seen this because I feel like this is not a very popular part of the FIFA section. You go to over here and you tab all the way left. Andrea Pinamonti and Rafael Leao. And basically what we will do is if you choose either one of them, which I chose Leao, I'm going to view the objectives here and I'm going to have to go in. And if I complete these objectives, uh, I basically earn myself i get this pack a prime electron players pack for completing all these which is basically three finesse goals it looks really really easy um but basically what i do with that is that gets me more team xp and we all kind of contribute together if you chose leao to try to get him into first place and then rafael leao will get a footies upgraded item right so we're probably going to see multiple of these this is out for 12 days so it's out for a long time uh so it's not going to be very quick but I guess that's more footies cards we will be seeing uh, through that way as well. And it's the first time, in my opinion, this year that EA has really done something cool with that team event section. So it's about time, EA Sports. That's all I'll say about that. Also, footies favorites. This is why we had the Allen St. Maximin yesterday. That's a big SBC, of course, coming in on the market right now at like 550K to get this card done. Hopefully craftable through player picks. But this card, man, everybody is stoked about him. 1,400 upvotes. Five star skills, four star weak foot. And basically what this is, and this is, I guess, remember in the yesterday's video, we were talking about upgrades to some of the previous players. And I talked about road to the finals. I wasn't sure how EA was going to do that, but this is how they're doing it, right? They take the same dynamic image as his October 83 rated in form. And they basically give him a juiced stats and a footies card. And that is the footies favorite. And each weekend, 
The footies campaign will feature footies player SBCs themed around a specific month and a popular foot player item from that period in the cycle. So if you actually go into the SBC section today and you take a look, it says for Alan St. Maxim that his is the footies October favorite. Now, I want to talk about the time frame on this because, of course, these SBCs are only coming out on the weekends. How long is this promo going to be? I think if they're starting with October... Uh, you know, we've got October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So 10 months, basically, in my opinion, 10 months, 10 different SBCs. I think this promo might actually last five weeks. I really think it will. Two SBCs per weekend for five weeks. This first batch of best of cards are out in the game for two weeks. We're going to get tired of these items. I'm telling you right now, not having team of the season cards, PTGs, that sort of stuff in packs. This is only batch one of three. I really wish that this batch would only be one week because I do feel like it's going to get a little old with some of these cards, especially since they're not super duper meta for this time in the game with the other cards that we have. So just to kind of throw that out there again, but it seems to me and I would think that if this is, I guess this is how I think EA is going to do it. I think they're going to do two of these footies favorites SBCs each weekend. I think it might be Friday and Saturday because of course Sunday content is usually upgrade packs and then usually icon of species, but at least one of the three days in the weekend uh, or two of the three days on the weekend, in my opinion, will be getting these footies favorite SBCs. So that's a W. The St. Maximum is a huge dub and that was very nice to see as well. So these are the three different types of footies players that we will get. Player pick fan votes, Derby Day team event voting, and footies favorites. So that's the way we're getting actual footies cards. Now, of course, yesterday as well, we had the Carvajal Hall SBC, which we knew Carvajal Hall was going to win. And he got a pretty nice card, right? Four-star, four-star, 95 rated with a huge uh, boost to pace, dribbling, passing, and uh, shooting. Pretty decent card, right? I don't know if a ton of people are going to do this one. Actually, I want to check right now on Footbin and see how many thumbs up Carvajal Hall has just to see how much hype is there. But this SBC is coming in at about 200,000 coins. Some very interesting links, to be honest. La Liga links on the left side. A lot of people actually are packing Ferlin Mendy's foot birthday. So maybe this is some nice links that you get there. Links to Ramos as well. Um, if you're maybe running a three-back formation, you know, left mid to center back link up right there. It's a perfect link. 664 upvotes for this card. So a decent card, right? But just a card that you, you never really would have thought you'd be playing at left mid. So that was kind of interesting right there. Now we'll talk about the best of in a second. Weekend League Rewards. I'm not understanding why they put this in here because Weekend League Rewards literally have not changed. There's no difference. It's all still the E-Figs um, and the 91 plus for top 200, 91 plus for the Elite 3, and then 89 plus for Gold 2. And then of course, you know, some guarantees, a minimum of one TOTS item will be from those top five e-figs leagues so weekend league rewards didn't change at all there's also tiered engagement reward packs right and we talked about this yesterday a lot of you guys probably got an ultimate pack and then they said there's going to be two additional opportunities to earn rewards based on how many times you log in over the course of fifa 21 footies so basically um if you depending on how much you sign in between now and the july 25th time frame that's period one and then from now until august 9th is the second time frame for uh, this promo and how they're going to be paying this out. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind and keep involved with is the more you sign to FIFA, the better pack you're going to get. So a lot of us are probably going to be getting ultimate packs because we're going to be signing in just about every single day on this game. Now, last thing is over here. Let's talk about this objective, man, because this objective was nutty as well. Footy's favorite Tavernier, right? Huge, huge boost on this Tavernier card. This is based off of his headliners, I believe. It's the same dynamic image. 99 pace, really, really juiced up card. It's not that bad of a grind as well. 12 squad battles games um, to score with English players. So in, in all honesty, it's about a similar grind to Yuri Mina, who was out just a couple days ago as a Summer Stars item. Uh, and this is a huge, huge card in this game. I think a lot of people are going for this Tavernier. It's a very nice card to have in objectives. W in terms of that content right there. Now let's talk about the market, right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable swings on the market today, man. Crazy amounts of drop-offs everywhere. And it all started off 
with what we expected it it would with preview packs. Now, of course, since there were preview packs today and actually some big time preview packs, we saw so freaking much supply. Oh, I got to talk about one more SBC too. We'll, we'll do that at the end, but we'll kind of tie that in with SBC fodder. So the 87 plus star rare player preview pack was actually what we kind of thought it was. It was an 87 plus guaranteed as one player. Then the rest was 12 gold rare players. So basically it's like a 50 K pack. I think a 50 K pack with one extra player and that player get being guaranteed 87 plus. So um, I got Di Maria as my 87, so GG's there. But I think this really supplied the market a lot because there were six of them, 70,000 coins a piece. And again, like we talked about yesterday, since we are in the end game, since we are in the end game, so many of these cards that were, you know, this Mbappe was 680,000 coins yesterday, man. And this guy, I bought one of these today at 265K. He's now back up to 345. But again, the amount of supply from preview packs today is why you saw the market absolutely die. Every card that was in packs today went down further than what it was, even if there was panic selling beforehand, right? Like this Ronaldo went down like 200K with panic selling before the promo started. And then he's down 500K more because of the supply, right? You look at this De Bruyne who is 400K. He's now 192. Uh, some other examples, Furlan Mendy, and this is this is the crazy fluctuations that we have on these cards when we have big panic like this. And take note because when we have batch two come out in two weeks, the same thing is going to happen again. If they release a big time 87 plus star pack like that, if they release multiple multiple of them, and there's Tots cards in packs, or there's PTG items, or there's Summer Stars, the same exact thing is going to happen. You're going to have panic selling ahead of time, but then what you're going to have more of is initial panic selling in the first 15 to 20 minutes of people that did not know those cards were going to be in packs, and then an absolute flood of supply. This Furlan Mendy card, right? Let's take a look at some of these graphs and talk about this. This Furlan Mendy, who is right now 175,000 coins. He was 390 pre-content drop. It says that he went down to 140K. In the first 15 minutes after this card was re released back into packs, Furlan Mendy was 80,000 coins. 80K is how low this card got. Of course, you can't always trust these flipping graphs 100%. 80,000 coins is how low this card got yesterday, right? There were just tons of examples of cards where there was just an absolute crazy amount of supply in that first 15 minutes and also panic selling combining just a huge huge market crash on a lot of these items right i could go all day looking through a lot of these cards and telling you the crazy prices that i saw today during the landing rounds Lewandowski's team of the year was a hundred thousand coins flat um this messy card was 100k i bought a freeze money for fifty-seven thousand coins he's now back up uh, i bought four ansu fatis for 95 to 110,000 coins a piece. He's back up to 184. I bought a socket like I think it was like 37k or something like that. I bought a uh, Bruno headliners at like 60k. Uh, what else did I buy? I bought a Lucas at 27. I think I mentioned that or 29,000 coins. Just the drop offs today were incredible. So what happened with that was there it, it was twofold, right? It was twofold. You had all these cards that were getting supplied and panic sold. I bought this Van Dyke at 100 and what did I buy him? 165 or something like that. So you had all of these cards that were in packs getting absolutely shelled on the market. I actually sold my Ansu Fati's a bit early. And they were getting shelled um, and just drop, 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 supply, 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 undercuts after undercuts after undercuts. They bounced back, but these cards getting so cheap and also the other content that came out today, draining coins off the market caused then uh, an initial drop on those cards that were in packs. And then there was another drop after that on some of the more popular cards like Summer Stars Team 2, like PTG. Harry Kane went from 200,000 coins this morning, all the, or yesterday morning, all the way down to 130K. Now, I don't know if Footbin caught this or not. He went from 200K to 130, 140, and then rebounded right back up, right? It was insane. Lukaku, I bought a Lukaku at 170,000 coins. Cavani was 80K. Jordi Alba was 170,000 coins. He's back to 250. Alejandro Gomez was 140K. He's back to 235. I bought a Sterling for 875. He went back to a mill. I sold mine at 975 where he is right now. Um, Chiesa was down at like 300K. I think he was mine even under 300K. I bought a Chiellini for 120. 
he's back to 170. So basically what you had was, since the cards that were getting sold off were kind of lower tier, not as hype for, for most of them, right? But it was just dropping everything off in the game so much. People were just panicking. There was selling everywhere. Icons were getting destroyed. Eder Militao, who right now is 485, he was down to 390. This Pogba, who is 700K right now, was down to 570. Wijnaldum was 150,000 coins. Felix was 80K. Paredes was 100. Hazard was 290. I bought Chilwells at 140. Like, seriously, you could have made absolute crazy amounts of money today. I made, I feel like, a really good amount based off the amount of coins that I had liquid at the time. But it was just insane. The amount of panic selling and then now the buyback as well now we're going to talk about it as we head throughout the weekend these cars that are in packs they're still going to drop they're getting they're getting supplied for two freaking weeks two weeks these cards are in packs for rewards they're going to be in the footies player pick that's a huge part of the content that was dropped yesterday i could have easily mentioned that earlier a repeatable player pick for footies cards all of the cards that are in packs right again you talk about these team of the year items i've done two of these so far and i've already hit a furland amendi foot birthday and a conte what if so i'm doing pretty well on these right now but this is the reason why a lot of prices crashed as well in this game today is because people were selling things to just do this player pick over and over and over because you have a chance to get a 90 Eight Ronaldo, right? Other team of the year items are available in this pack, and even some other, you know, like 91 Mbappe, right? Team of the year KDB, Varane, Road to the Final, per, still a pretty, really, a pretty good item in this game, right? Uh, Bruno 92, Lucas 89, right? There's a there's a ton of opportunity for this 40s player pick. Now, all I can think about right now is we need this when they release team of the season, when they release PTG, and when they release summer stars back in packs. We need this to be in the game 100% without a doubt. We need to see this content again released. But again, this SBC right now, according to Footbin, is coming in at 85,000 coins a pop. Now, is it worth it? I mean, to be completely honest with you, it's fun to do. It's repeatable. It's an 84 rated squad. The reason why this is so expensive right now is because there's so much demand for it. And there's the chance that those team of the year players take a look at these prices for fodder. 83s. 7,000 coins a piece, 84s, 12 to 13K a pop, 85, 16K. And then after that, 86s, they didn't even move. 87s went down, 88s went down, 89s went down. We talked about that yesterday, man, because a lot of these higher rateds were going to drop, right? In the crazy amount of selling that we had earlier on, um, 95 uh, Benzema, 95 Benzema was like 30K. This not a 95 rated card was like 30k earlier today on the market in that insane panic selling and then insane drop off. It shows 45, but he was definitely 30k for a hot minute. And that's literally right now, people the cheapest way to do some of these SBCs. It's actually comical. If you go in here and take a look at some of this, some of your cheapest ways to do these SBCs are like because people are throwing in higher rated like 89s and 90s, you're putting in one or two 84s and then the rest of your squad is 81s. That's like the cheapest way to do these SBCs right now because that low to middle tier on fodder, the 82s to the 85s, is just absolutely flying on this game, which is kind of what we expected, but I was not expecting EA to drop this the, the footies player pick yesterday. So again, I know it's really, really hype, and this is really, really fun content. The footies player pick, and the fact that it's repeatable is why the fodder has gone up so much. We really need upgrade packs, EA Sports, right? Upgrade packs are necessary to have grindability this week for content, right? I really want to do the St. Max SBC, as a lot of you guys do as well. 500k to do them. I'm going to drop 6, 700k into, play, into uh, player pick packs. Hopefully, we get upgrade packs on Sunday. I would be very, very optimistic that we should. Craft a bunch of these player picks for 84 rated squad, 30 cam, very easy. And then, of course, be able to do a uh, some footies, SBCs, and whatever content they release throughout this week as well. So, again, the content yesterday was unfreaking believable, right? Top tier from EA Sports, GG. And, again, the thing that just keeps me more excited about this than anything is the fact that if this level of content stays up, just imagine what it's going to be like when it's just TOTS cards and when it is PTGs and Summer Stars. The cards that people are really using in this game right now. Just imagine how hype it's going to be when we get to that time frame uh, in a couple of weeks. That's my only, I guess, downside. That's that's my only 
thing that I'm confused about is why these best of re-releases are in packs until July 30th. I think they should only have been in packs for one week. Then we should have moved on to maybe some more team of the season cards. I'm not sure why they did it for two weeks. I feel like that's going to be a bit much. Uh, these cards right now, some of them have bounced back for sure. As we look at these graphs and as we see these card prices move around, like this record breaker Mbappe, for example, who again, I mentioned was down to like 260,000 coins who I snagged right in here and is now rebounded back up to 340,000 coins. I think some of these cards, the ones that got crazy, crazy low, right? Like we talked about uh, Ferland Mendy, foot birthday. He was down at 70,000 coins. I would be so surprised, maybe next Friday, but I doubt that Ferland Mendy is ever going to get that low again, right? It's just because the panic right away, the unsure nature of the player, uh, the, the preview packs that were in the store, and of course the panic selling. I doubt that we see Ferland Mendy like back that low again. Uh, to be completely honest, but I do think that Ferland Mendy could be 120,000 coins by the end of this week, right? Again, the supply is going to be constant. Preview packs are going to be rolling in this entire week. That's going to keep the supply on these cards. The ones that it's going to affect the most, in my opinion, are going to be the 98 Ronaldo is going to be like the team of the year cards and the higher rated ones that are still, you know, um, kind of dropping in price. Like this, Ronaldo's probably going to drop another three, four, maybe even 500,000 coins in my opinion after this weekend league is over. People are using this Ronaldo. They're buying him because it's a team of the Ronaldo, man, and it's 2 million coins. So he's still in packs though. He's going to be packed from player picks. He's going to be packed two weeks now. Two weeks this guy's in packs. So I do expect a lot of this stuff to drop off, but I don't know if some of it will get back to as low as it was during that crazy amount of panic during the first hour today. So that's kind of my thoughts. Also, what this is going to do is it's going to drag the rest of the market down. These PTGs, these uh, summer stars that have rebounded back up. If you bought cards today that have rebounded back up, in my opinion, I would probably look to get some of those out because again, I feel like Lukaku could easily be back to 200,000 coins with the uh, same maximum that is out. Sterling's probably going to drop some more after he rebounded. I just think that with all of these cards being lowered in price, even though they're lower tier, and with incredible SBC content that is repeatable, draining coins off the market like this, I think a lot of these prices are going to go lower. Again, we were not putting coins onto the market today unless people were buying these preview packs with FIFA points. I think a lot of people were buying them with coins. So that is why I think that a lot of coins are being pulled off of this game. This game is being, uh, people are in this game are being, uh, you know, taken away of their coins. And instead of getting more coins, they're losing them. So that's just my take on what is going on on the market. But again, it was a mental day. If you were guys were in the Twitch live stream, it was so fun looking at these cards. Again, I accidentally cleared about five to six cards that I had already sold. But huge, huge profits on the day uh, with a lot of these items. I, even even later on, right? I bought this Alessandrini. There's just a lot of panic selling. I bought this for, I think, 82K. Sold them at 107. I bought this in Dombele for 59,000 coins. Sold them at 85. Just a lot of bounce back on stuff that was panic sold. And it was just an absolute blast trading on the market today. Same thing happened with icons. How much is this Rude Hullet right now? 1.4 mil. He bounced back, right? Where's my baby Maradona? Because this guy got absolutely destroyed. He was down to 700,000 coins flat. He's now back up into the mid 800s. Team of the year, Sonny was 390. How much is he? Uh, he's actually not up that much, but that's probably because of the same maximum. He's 440k. So again, we could take so much time today going through a lot of these cards and showing you prices. 980 for Pushkas. He was down at 800,000 coins flat, right? I could sit here all day and tell you about some insane prices that we saw, like the Hazard, like the Firmino, like the Militao. Laporte at 100k. He's bounced back up. So again, it was just a mental, mental day of content and just so much going on in this game. It was so much fun. It's going to be continuing fun, right? I think that this footies promo, I think EA's got some plans and I'm excited to see where it goes the rest of this week and for the next couple weeks in all honesty to see what they do with this game, how the market goes and how the content keeps coming out. Because after yesterday, that day one, it's looking really, really good. So I'm excited to see what the rest of this week brings for the footies promo. Now, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments how this promo started off for you. Did you lose a lot of coins today? Did you make a lot of coins? Did you pack anything sick? Uh, again, I packed, I did two player picks and I got Conte What If and I got Ferland Nendi. So W's right away. I mean, really the only guy that I'm wanting to pack from this stuff would be like a team of the year Van Dyke, team of the year uh, Lewa, De Bruyne, Ronaldo. That would be sick. 
Um, other than that, a lot of these cards are kind of, you know, on the back end of the power curve at this point. So that's my, again, my only kind of um, letdown of today is that I wish these cards were only in packs for one week. But again, definitely hit a thumbs up on this video. And again, let me know down in the comments what you thought of day one of footies with the content, with stuff in packs, and all that went on. If you did enjoy this video, uh, I already said that, man. Just subscribe to the channel if you're new, all right? It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.